hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is part 4 video on react js jwt authentication using http only cookie now our main goals are to protect routes and to implement the logout okay so what is protecting routes now if i click on login and use our credentials to authenticate so now i am authenticated right so if at all i try to access login page i am able to log in which is not correct because i am already logged in user for an already logged in user it doesn't make sense to display the login form so we have to protect the routes like this okay so for that let's create react js protected route okay for that we will create a component so it will be in the shared folder so i will name it like protected route okay so this is my protected route component here i am going to implement the logic for protecting our routes okay so we have to use this protected route okay in app component so for home page i not need any protection because it is a guest page anyone can access and login page can be accessed only if the user is not authenticated right so it required protected component as well as movies page it is reverse here it should be accessed by only logged in users so here also we need route protection so here what i will do i will wrap the component inside of the element with my protected route wherever i need it okay Okay, add here as well. So here our normal route components are chained to the protected route, right? So here what we have to do, we have to read the children. So I can destructure the props children property like children, right? So this children is nothing but the actual route component means either login component or movies component okay here i have two kind of cases so once if the user is trying to access the authenticated route and non-authenticated route so to understand whether this route coming from authenticated or non-authenticated means this component must load for authenticated user or non-authenticated user i will create a property for this component okay so this is my custom property something like i will write like access by okay so login component must be accessed by non-authenticated user i will assign some value like this okay same way here i will add the access by property okay so it should be accessed by authenticated user right so now i have to access by I have to restructure this access by property here as well okay so here what i will do and now to know whether user is authenticated or not i can read the user information from my auth context api okay for that let's read so we have implemented the react context api right so use use context okay to that context i have to specify my auth context so now i can read the user information now now i have user information as well okay now i will write a condition like if okay access by equal to non-authenticated okay that means 
that route must be accessed by non authenticated users okay at that time what i will do i will check user must not be authenticated so what i can do i can use exclamatory means new user logged in at that time i can simply return the children nothing but the component here rendering okay in our case login component okay same way i can write one more condition if access by equal to authenticated means this is for only authenticated users at that time user must be authenticated so i can check user exist or not if user exist then also I, i will return simply children means the route configured component rendering so if at all if it doesn't go for if or this else if what i will do i will simply redirect any user to the home page which is a guest page okay so for redirecting i can use a default component from the react router top that is navigate so to this i can pass to property and i can specify the path to which component we have to redirect so this is my protected route okay now if i test if i try to access the login page since i am already authenticated user right so i cannot access the login page but i will redirect back to home page let's access it see i am back to home page okay that means we protected our route so that's about the route protection in react next let's implement the logout so here you can see the login logout endpoint so just like login endpoint within the auth context we are going to create one more method like logout and we are going to expose that method okay so here go to auth context okay here we implemented login call api method right same way let me implement one more method for logout okay so constant logout call api logout api call okay and it must be async and i will use axios to invoke my api call so here it is a get request so let me copy this endpoint add it here and change port number to 4000 and we have to add with credentials property okay once the logout is successful at the server then we have to clear some data in our react application those are like first thing we are storing user information in the browser local storage right so first let's remove that local storage information okay so copy the key name next let's set back our user a uh, uh, variable to null means we are deleting the user information and finally once that is done let's navigate to login page okay now we have to expose this logout api call just like login api call so logout api call now i can invoke this method in my layout component okay so for that here let me create a button so logout button okay outline primary and type will be button it should be a logout so on click okay now here we are already using our auth context so let's read our logout method reference so copy this and read as a method reference so i can call this method in the logout button click so i am going to use arrow function 
and I will call it. So it is not outline primary. Let me use like outline success. We have to display this button conditionally only when the user is logged in, right? So write the expression for user logged in and add inside of it this button. Okay, now let's touch the logout functionality. Okay, if I click on login and enter the credentials. Okay, and here we got logout button. Now, if I go to network calls, okay, and if I click on logout button, See, I am navigate back to my home page and there is no login information. And if I go to here, logout call API is successful. And if I go to application tab, you can see there is no local storage values. That is my user profile because we are removing right once the logout is successful. And here you can see he also removed cookies removed at the server by the logout. Okay. So that's all about. React JS JWT authentication using HTTP only cookie. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video delivered some useful content to you. If you like the video, please do support me by liking the video as well as by subscribing the channel. Soon we are going to meet with new videos. Until then, signing off.